Hi, and welcome to Be Your Own Best Coach Conversations, where you can learn to shift your mindset, change your behavior, and do more stuff you care about. I'm Glenn Luber, one of the co-founders of Be Your Own Best Coach, a five-week group coaching program. And I'm here with my colleague and fellow co-founder, Dr. Deborah Teplo. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Glenn. Great to be here with you today. So today I wanted to talk about how we think about change doesn't always put us on the path for change. What's the problem? What should we do instead, Deborah? Oh, it's such a great question. And so how do we think about change? Well, we have coached thousands of people, literally. And so often what we hear when we ask, well, you know, what do you want? And what we get is always what people don't want. I don't want to be so stressed out. I don't want to be so overweight. Mm. No, I don't want to be smoking. I don't want to be drinking, drugging. You know, I, I don't want to be sitting at my, this stupid job the rest of my life. A lot of don'ts and a lot of problems. You know, I'm too this or I'm too that or, you know, my husband or my wife or my partner's too this or that or my kids. Um, it's often framed as the problem and the don't. And in fact, in uh, the early 70s, there was a book um, published called Diets Don't Work. And the story was um, that, or the, the, you know, the opening story was that diets don't work because you have a piece of pie in the refrigerator, that lemon cream pie with that big meringue, oh, yum, yum. And uh, you tell yourself, well, you're on a diet. Don't eat pie. Don't eat the pie. Don't eat pie. Mm. Doesn't work. Why not? Because you're, none of your senses know don't. You can't feel don't. You can't taste don't. You can't smell don't. You can't hear don't. You can't see don't. Um, you cannot experience don't. But you can't. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Deborah. What? Yeah, I was going to say, that, that, that was also the thing about don't, like, don't uh, check the social media. That was another one. I was, I was coming to like, think about that. Don't check social media. I've, I've experienced that one. Don't check social media. Oh, my God. And all, but your brain, your your imagination, you know, everything about you does not know don't. It does know social media. So what you're doing by every time you say, don't do this, don't do that, um, you, your brain is only registering the behavior that you're trying to avoid. So the problem is that we focus on the don't. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be that. We don't focus on what we want instead. And in fact, Glenn, when you asked me that question, what's the problem and what should we do instead? That is the answer. The answer is instead. So when you're thinking, you know, don't eat the pie, well, take the next step. What do you want to eat instead? Um, now, you may want, not, may not really want to eat baby carrots, but if you say, uh, you know, eat the baby carrot, eat the baby carrot, then your brain is registering baby carrot and link that um, with, we talked about outcomes in one of our episodes, link that with what you're going to get out of doing the positive behavior or the more health affirming behavior. So whenever you catch us saying, I don't want to do X or I don't want to be X, ask yourself the next question. What do you want to do instead? What do you want to be instead? And those are hard questions. Um, instead is just one word, right? But it is a hard question because we're not oriented to thinking that way. So be gentle with yourself. Um, understand that it is a hard question because we are very oriented to all our problems and what we don't want. It's a lot harder to think about what we do want but that's where you're going to find the gold. And once you latch on to the tiniest thing about what you do want, you can keep polishing that gold. And by that, I mean elaborating on what it is you do want and enjoying imagining having arrived at that outcome of what you do want. So in case of, you know, don't eat pie, it's um, eat healthy, eat the baby carrot, enjoy the juicy, crunchy apple because I will be thinner I will look good in my clothes. I'll be proud of myself. I'll be more energetic. I'll play with my kids. I'll go out dancing, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that's, that's interesting. And it just uh, continues to grow and grow and grow on, on the instead to, you know, your larger, um, your larger outcomes you want in your life. Absolutely. 
absolutely. You're really talking about what kind of life you want to lead and who you want to be. It's not just the don't do this. Um, it's who, yeah. who yeah, it's who am I um, to myself, who am I to the world, and, and what difference does it make to me and everybody else? So, so I was thinking about the social media. Don't do not do social media. So immediately, first thing I thought about was, um, okay, what do I want to do instead? Well, I want to connection. So maybe it would be, I would, you know, text a loved one or, you know, a friend, um, and so I make that connection and I'm, you know, use, you know, using the device. But then I was thinking, well, you know, what I want to do instead of, I want to be more uh, productive and do um, some of the work that I really want to do. Or what would I want to do instead of that? Maybe I just want to verbally connect with a colleague um, if it's if I'm doing during the work day and not being distracted by the, uh, by the social media. And then why do I want to do that? You know, I, you know, I want to have better connections and relationships. And so I can have more enriching work and life. Um, yeah. So I, I, you know, it does just sort of uh, have a ripple effect. You keep going and going. Um, and it really helps, I think, to see that different uh, way of being. Yeah. And just how you did that's kind of, wow. I mean, that is really awesome that when you start thinking about what do I want instead, it completely opens up the floodgates for a lot of, imagining and and um you know creating a really beautiful and more fulfilling future well that's that's fantastic and that's really just that one word yeah instead it's so powerful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i think that's a great place for us to wrap up uh thank you thank you deborah and uh thank you everyone for listening uh, i want to let everyone know to check out be your own best coach .com where you can find out more information about our five-week group coaching program. Listeners of Be Your Own Best Coach Conversations can take 10% off enrollment costs by using the keyword conversations. Thanks again for listening and stay well.